Major Slack Attack. No pickaxe for the Slackster. Well, um... You can put that away now, Gina. Tell you what, this is what I'm going to do. Emperor Shard Mine, that's always good for a pickaxe. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> it's my girl's first day on the job. Hey, well, hold up here. Leave my horsey alone. There we go. Calm. Calm, Frost. Calm. Okay, this is going to wear off my well rested bonus, that's for sure. We'll just do without. Hopefully these bandits are low level. And they are. It's easier to gun you down. I don't really want to do this, but oh, we're leveling up archery. Okay, here we go. Here you go, you two. Your turn. And one more. And down you go. Here is a big axe. Alright, we're out of here. If I could just find that gold ore vein. And one more mammoth. All I have to do is just go back to Redoran's retreat and retrace our steps towards the giant's camp. In the daytime. Done and done. Yeah, down to the bridge. <laughs> Slack has been in the house. Okay. I should at least loot them for their mammoth tusks. Here. Great. Found it. Is that it? Nope. Well, <laughs> my soul mind is anyways. Actually, I think I know exactly where it is. It's by the water. Here. Yeah, it's over here. Although that's not the one I ran over. Anyways, no problem. I'm just uh, thinking out loud here. There it is, right there. And here are some more mammoths, conveniently enough. Great. All right, singing it up here, boss. Uh, I am a man of constant sorrow. I seen troubles all my day. There we go. Okay, um, this is going to be a little tricky. A little tricky. Okay, lots of rocks to get them bunged up on. There we go, and we're off to the races. You know what I should do? A 
Okay, go kill the giant. <laughs> Who's your daddy? Great. Now, the giant's out of the way. This is wild. One of the, the mammoths is still my ally because I haven't shot him yet. So the other one is his enemy. <laughs> Hold up there. And hey, let's do one extra. What the hell? There he comes. Don't get involved, Frost. You're gonna die. Damn it. Now I gotta kill him quickly. Don't kill my horsey, please. Yeah, that's right. Run, run, Frost. Run away. You'll never make it. Frost, run! He's gonna kill Frost. Please don't kill him. Actually, I think he resurrects anyways. I got this, Frost. I got it. What? What do you mean? Oh, shoot. The giant filled up the greater... One of my grants with a greater... Dang it. Oh well. Okay. We could just drop it on the ground to empty it out. But I wasted the mammoth. Well, I only need three anyways. <laughs> Way to go, Frost. Nice horsing around. <laughs> Mage stone. Let's do our little makeover here. Winter hold. Well, that was fun. Gene is totally poning. The wildlife in Skyrim. I'm not sure if I can make uh, enchanting potions powerful enough to uh, make a difference. I doubt it very much, actually. Could be wrong, but... Um, do I have any blue mountain flower on me? Or blue butterfly wings? Yes, I do. I could just go out and quickly grab some snowberries here. Do a little test.
I'm overloaded? Seriously? <laughs> the one snowberry was it. That did it. This straw that broke the camel's back. Okay, what can we dump here? Uh, the boots. Okay, we need to offload some stuff here. We're overloaded. Where's Ferelda? Ferelda. Listen up. As master wizard, as spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. And what the hell? Until we'll use the gold sapphire ring. For Gina's archery ring. Let me do a quick save because I don't want to waste these ingredients in case this doesn't work. Okay, quick save. I'm guessing it's going to be around 9 or 10 percent at best. Blue butterfly wing and snowberries will make a fortify enchanting potion. 8 percent, yeah, no, not even close. Not even close. Okay, could go out and buy an enchanting potion, but I'm not going to bother. This is just temporary gear. Okay, here we go. If I get up to level 24, I can get an insightful enchanter. I got 7,000 gold. Also have some ingredients. I have ten death bell, I have ten salt pile. And eight I think bleeding crown? Will that do it? Pretty sure that's a power potion. Death Bell, Bleeding Crown, and Salt Pile. Yep. <laughs> that didn't do it. Uh, trying to level up to. Uh, Easiest way is to simply enchant some daggers. Do I have some daggers? Yeah, it's like lots of daggers. What am I doing? the resources to do this. There we go. A little more. A couple more. Come on at a boy. Now, did I spend my skill training purchase price for this level? Enchanting, sir. You've come to the right place. No, I did not And now enchanting is absolutely exorbitant. The price of enchanting. Alright, so we're gonna have to bump go down to the next option here, which is alteration skill training. 
because I don't want to waste this kill training purchase rates for this level. Looks like we're taking a ride out to Sarthal to hook up with Toltir. Okay, this business session is getting extended. Um, it'll be worth it though. We desperately need this spit shine. This fits in with another thing I'm going to be doing later on. There is a couple of ice wraiths. Let's just give them a wide berth. Sarthal is right down this way. We have a quest marker there. That's conveniently enough. Do not follow me, Ice Wraith. Come on. Do not follow me. Whoa, but up. There we go. And here we all are. Shall we step inside? I can certainly share a bit, I know. Beautiful. Not sure if I had the right. Oh, I had everything perfect. Mate still well rested. Hey! Couldn't have been better. And we need to do this anyways. It's always encouraging. Take a look. Let's sell him the heavy stuff first. Like this war hammer, the iron mace, and these enchanted daggers. We obviously don't can it disenchant this because we already have this, so we can sell them that as well. Why not? Until Excellent. All right, now. Make a level up. Put a point into Insightful Enchanter and make even better gear. Now it may be worth it to find um, a skilled helmet, but we'll table that for a later date. For now, just to stick to the, uh, the original plan. Okay, here we go, coming to the end of this epic journey of this mini makeover. Now, we can make fortify archery gear. At Twenty seven percent, sweet. Here we go. Skilled sapphire necklace or a ring. See, groups nicely together with the other gear. Same thing with the necklace. Skilled necklace. And finally, the bracers. Just thinking of the name for him. The scaled. Bracers. That's pretty lame. What the hell? 
<laughs> Brazers, Grand Zuljian, R3, the skilled, better Brazers. <laughs> pretty lame, it's like, yeah, pretty lame, whatever. It's the best I can think of on the, on the fly here. We're not gonna be using these long anyways. Okay, so we got her some new R3 gear. Mission accomplished. We run into a um, a skilled helmet. We just go shopping, power shopping, even buy one, then take down another mammoth. That's a, that's a project. But yeah. It just give us an extra seven percent. Yeah. So now we're now we're cooking with gas. Totally. Looking pretty spiffy too. We gotta get her some tavern clothes. I think that's next on the agenda. <laughs> it's a priority. Hey, that is it for this run. Our little mini makeover run. Uh, I meant it to run two videos. This is probably gonna run three. Um, I want to thank you all very much for watching. And if you thought these, uh, if you think this walkthrough is remotely entertaining and or informative, hey, don't forget to give you Slackster and our girl Gina Ten Giants here a big old thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to make sure you get all my videos hot off the press. All right, see you next video. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes. All right, thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.